Okay, so the first step is gonna be going to any funnel or any website that you have in Go High Level, or if you're creating a new one, perfect, because this function is gonna work in funnels as in websites. The only thing you need to have is make sure that in your sub account in Labs, you have the new website and funnel builder enabled. That's all you need. Now you are in a step of a funnel, for example, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the element wherever we want. Here actually we have a hole, which is a perfect opportunity to use this element. So we're gonna click on add element, which is the orange button. We're gonna search the element. We can search it or we can just put in the search bar slider and we're gonna find the image slider. Okay, so now, right now, we have three slides at the moment. If we wanna add or remove slides, we can just add more slides or we can delete them. That's the first step. The second step is in each slide, we can insert our images and we can add a CTA link which can open in a new tab or in a current tab. Last thing, we can choose the size and width of our images. And we can also deal with margin, padding, borders and corner, border style, shadow, etc. But for now on, let's start with the first, choosing our images for the slider. So in this case, we're doing a real estate funnel to sell your house as the best price, for the best price. So in slide number one, we are gonna choose an image. In this case, we have media. Um, let's say this is gonna be our first image. Then for slide number two, let's choose the second image. And then slide number three, we have a third image to choose. Then let's say that we choose this image over here. And then we can also rearrange the slide. So we can put this slide to go to slide one actually. Okay, so now the third slide is going into the first slide. So this is the way it's gonna look. If we click on save, we now click on preview and we can see the three images in the image slider. The last things you need to know about the image slider, which are if you wanna take things to the next level, in the advanced section here, you can play also with the pagination options and slide arrows as well as shadows. Let me show you an example. Let me show you that for the shadow, uh, sorry, for the borders and corner, we can put this border style. Instead of a square, we can put this one over here. And then if we play with the thickness, you're gonna see how there is a special border. Now we can play also with the shadow and you can choose a box shadow, inner shadow or nothing. If we play, for example, with inner shadow, we can put a color of shadow and then we can put exactly, exactly where do we want this shadow to be. We can also play with pagination. For example, instead of these circles, we can put squares. So you're gonna see now you have squares. When you scroll, you're gonna have squares instead of circles. Or you can also have bars. Slide arrows have the option to elevate or glow, as well as nothing. If you choose elevate, for example, and then we're saving and previewing, in the preview, whenever you click on the sliders, these are gonna be elevated. And then we also have the option to use slide animations. For example, let's choose a fade instead of a slide, and then we can save it and preview it. Okay, we're previewing it, and you see that images are fading instead of sliding. This is exactly how you use the image slider function in funnels and websites in Go High Level. And the image slider is a perfect opportunity to engage and capture attention, create a storytelling experience, and feature special images that you want to show to your potential customers and clients.